guys, it's Alyssa, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean and set up a Crested Gecko enclosure. At least this is how I do it. I'm not telling you this is the right way because I could be wrong in some aspects, and if I am, then you can definitely comment down below and give me some constructive criticism and some tips on how to make everything better. So before I tear into it and start cleaning it, this is what it looks like right now. I haven't cleaned it in about a week and a half, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. But I'm just going to show you guys where it's kind of dirty. As you can see, I did move Lumos into the big 12 by 12 by 18 enclosure because he started eating and drinking and everything. That's the only reason why I kept him in there, to make sure that he was going to the bathroom and doing everything that he needed. So I went ahead and moved him into here. So as you can see, their pee is like a white color. So there's pee on the leaves, there's pieces of poop everywhere. So I definitely need to clean it. He's been eating his food every single night, if you guys have been wondering. He is getting huge. I have the thermometer and everything up there. I know this is not like a tour, but I haven't shown you guys this at all. And you guys have been asking me so many questions about Lumos. So basically the first thing I do is take him out of his enclosure, which sucks for him, but I put him in this one while I'm just cleaning everything. So I always open this and I already set it up so I didn't have to waste time. And his water bowl, even though he'll only be in there for about 30 minutes, I still want to make sure he's going to be okay. And then I literally just start taking everything out of the enclosure. And I use a Walmart bag to put everything in because I have to carry everything downstairs to my kitchen to clean it. So I just take everything out. So I have the magnetic ledge. And I do all of this while he's still in there. And then once he starts to come out and see that I'm taking everything out, then I put him in this container. And then I put him somewhere safe. Advice to take out these suction cup things, I usually just stick a pencil underneath the suction cup and it comes right out and you don't have to keep pulling onto the glass or anything. right here. He's all fired up right now. He's all dark and beautiful and brown. He's gotten so big. I don't know if you guys can see. And he's about to go into shed. But he's awesome. So he's been sleeping so he's probably really mad that I woke him up. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and let him keep sleeping. Hey buddy, it's okay. Yeah, he's really drowsy right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him in his little... As you can see, He's chillin'. He's so fired up right now. It's awesome. His colors are so pretty. He's like this dark orange and brown color. It's awesome. <laughs> but as you can see, there is tons of poop, tons of pee on the eco carpet. And it's also all in the plants too. So I'm going to show you what I use to clean. So I use this Wipeout Terrarium Disinfectant Spray. As you can see, I bought it at PetSmart for $10, and I also use this scrubber sponge and hot water.
now what I do is I take the wipe off spray and or wipe out spray, my bad. <laughs> and I spray the inside of the terrarium. And then after a few minutes, I take my sponge and I scrub it. Then I take my water and I spray it down. my paper towels and I dry everything off. Now after cleaning everything out, I have two pieces of eco carpet that I use. So while the other one's drying, I just put the new one in. Then I'm just gonna start placing everything back inside. Now I'm going to get him out of here and put him back into his enclosure after he freaking pooped all in this plastic one. As you can see, he's not fired up anymore. He's now a lightish gray color. Look how cute he is. And he's in!